What is up guys and welcome back. Right, this video I'm going to show you how I did the Sniper and the Carmageddon trophy simultaneously. Now, there's a good chance you won't get either of these trophies on your first playthrough. So these clips are taken from two um, playthroughs of this particular map because they will stack. And I don't think it'll carry through on your hardcore playthrough because you have to delete your entire save games of the easy mode. Okay, let's get into this. The first tip I'm going to say is definitely go for the story mission. The crane in the middle, this is pretty obvious, it'll be one of the first things you do. And through here you're going to get your 6x sniper scope, and that is going to be vital to make this a shitload easier. Now I do recommend watching the full video first because I show the, the trophy separately, but I did do them at the same time. Okay, grab your 6x zoom, and then we're going to do some farming methods. Now, firstly, just after you get this, you're going to get some guys that attack you. And this is where my trophy popped, because this is the second time I was doing this. I'm obviously not going to show you all the kills, but uh, just show you the locations and strategies of how I actually farmed it. My trophy popped right there. So I'll explain what happened to this damn car later, but there is one little farming method you can do. Now of course guys, you can just play the game and shoot, shoot anything that you want to shoot, you know, just run around and take out enemies. Because I like to do my kills, uh, kill trophies on the first playthrough. So what you want to do, run away from your car, turn around, and by the time you get fair enough distance away, there's going to be those mutated bats, or I like to call them gargoyles, on your car. You can turn around and get a couple kills there if you want to. Of course the aim is to actually hit it, but I'm still using the Kalash there. Another method is just pull back from enemies. Now I'm not quite sure the distance of this that you have to be, but um, it's not going to hurt to give this a bash. These guys took a beating especially this guy then something happened that scared the living shit out of me i had the headphones on fairly loud and then after i took out the last guy something happens so that i nearly pooed myself completely but uh, i got over it and continued the mission now this is part of the lighthouse again you will come here with the story fairly straightforward i show the map anyway but there's no real need now you're going to get a whole host of guys that are fighting what you want to do is run to the left and find yourself a nice perch and then just take guys out from a distance now again this is my first playthrough so um, I didn't have the sniper scope this will make it a lot easier once you've done the crane mission first find yourself a spot and go to town now, I'm currently doing a guide on every single good deed in the game so if you amp for that stick around hit that bell button if you are subscribed okay once you've taken out these guys there's an area just to the left of the lighthouse. You'll see the lighthouse to my right in a second. Uh, there's a large open plain with all these geezers here. And you've got free roam on all these uh, mutants that are here. They will start charging you. But you can take out as many as you can before they get too close. And then you're good as gold. And also, when you're driving around in the car, like I was saying before, you're doing it at the same time. Whenever you get to like an outcrop or a, a hilltop or a cliff edge, just run to the edge. There's always going to be guys mingling around at the bottom down there. And you just do, do a 360, look all around, and just take enemies out as you desire. Okay, the Carmageddon. Now, again, this is not going to be one that you're going to get on your initial playthrough. Well, depending on how much time you spend here, obviously. But um, I was far from it when I left this area. And um, when I came back, I decided to do the farming method with the sniper. It worked out pretty well. So now, when you first get into the car, um, you want to drive straight the road that they give you and you're going to hit at least 8 to 10 um, mutants on the way down and they're going to be nicely stacked up for you I only showed this because it is something you might as well do all waiting they're traveling threes during the day I think and fours at night and these are the rat type guys the smaller ones thank you mutant pin bowling and then further down that road you're going to get to these nests. I'm going to show you in a second. Um, they're going to be scattered all over the map. And they're going to be for these small rat type things. And they're going to look like these termite mounds. Drive towards those and you're going to get stacks of kills in these kind of areas. As you can see, you discovered another one. And uh, driving this car is almost as painful as steering the boat <laughs> on the Tega levels and other ones. The Volga. And then you're going to get these guys that are patrolling. Now, sometimes three, sometimes four, but they're going to be easy pickings. Whenever you get to a high area, just turn around and survey your area. Now, this is the same spot as the sniper. As 
It's also a very good spot for the Carmageddon. I do show you the map in a second. But it is just to the west of the lighthouse. And it is a nice flat area, flat-ish. You can get quite a few kills rummaging around here. They make the weirdest sounds, it's so funny. Alright, let me show you the map quicksticles here. And that's where it is. And you can do some night bashing as well. And then there's going to be four guys in their groups. I think I only get three on this one. But you get the idea, guys. This is kind of how you want to farm it. And uh, you should have this trophy in no time. Now what happened here is my car got very, very stuck. I literally couldn't move it. Couldn't do anything, and I learned the hard way that you should save after every time that you get the kills, or the kill sniper kills, or the car kills, save so you don't fuck it up like that, like I did. My trophy popped when I randomly hit something. I think I hit something right there. I was lucky there because I remember pushing the button to stop recording, and I turned around and it was recording. It's like a 30 minute clip for 10 second video clip here. And there's the trophy right there. Alright guys, that's going to bring us to the end. If you have any questions at all regarding any of these trophies, please shout. I'm definitely going to reply. Hit that like button if you're enjoying the content and subscribe if you're loving it. And make sure to tap that notification bell as well. Alright guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching and I want to catch you on the next one.